Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about surface and volume of revolution. So, I'll share my computer screen with you. It says, let R be the region bounded by Y equal to 1 over X, the X axis, X equal to 1, and X equal to B, where B is greater than 1. Let D be the solid formed when the region R is revolved around the x-axis. First part, find the volume V of D. Second part, write the surface area S as an integral. C, show that V approaches a finite limit as B tends to infinity. Part D, show that S tends to infinity as B tends to infinity. So... Let's get started on this solution. So the picture looks like this. This is one, this is two. Okay, and the curve or the function y equal to 1 over x looks like this. And this is y equal to 1 over x. 1 over x. This is your function y is equal to 1 over x. And x is between 1 and b. So this is 1 and this is some value b. So, we are rotating the surface around the x-axis. So, this point is B, and this point is 1, and this is a section from this area, which we are rotating around the x-axis. So, so, part A, volume is equal to pi, okay, limits are from... 1 to b. The function is 1 over x and we are squaring it. 1 over x squared dx. And that is equal to pi limits uh, the integration of 1 over x squared is minus 1 over x and the limits are from 1 to b. So this is pi times, because this is negative, so 1 comes in the front, 1 minus 1 over b. And that is the answer for the volume. For answer for answer. Okay. So part b says, so that is the volume of D, the so solid formed when R is revolved around the x-axis between 1 and B. Okay, part B, find the volume, uh, part B is find, write the surface area as an integral. So surface area S is equal to 2 pi. Again, the limits are from 1 to B. And the function is 1 over x. And that is multiplied by the 1 plus dy by dx, which is 1 over x dy by dx squared. Okay. In dx. So this is 2 pi. Okay. So actually, I'm mistaken. So let me erase this and I'll write it correctly. So this is 1 plus dy by dx squared. Now my y is equal to 1 over x. So dy by dx is equal to minus 
x to the power of minus 1, so minus 1 comes in the front, and x to the power of minus 2 is minus 1 over x squared. So, surface is equal to surface area 2 pi integration from 1 to b, 1 over x for dy by dx squared. I can write 1 plus minus 1 over x squared. Whole thing is squared dx. So then I will create some space for me. And this will become this will become <clears throat> surface is equal to 2 pi integration from 1 to b 1 over x square root of 1 plus 1 over x4 dx okay which can be written as s is equal to 2 pi Limits of integration are from 1 to b, 1 to b, okay, 1 over x square root of x4 plus 1 by x4 dx, okay, which can be simplified. If I take the square root of x4, it is x square multiplied by 1 over x in the denominator, it becomes 2 pi. Limits of integration are from 1 to b, 1 over x cubed, okay, multiplied by square root of x4 plus 1 dx. So that's your final, the final answer for s, okay. So that was what they have asked in part b. Write the surface area as an integral, okay. Now the question is, so the volume V approaches a finite limit as V tends to infinity. So that's part C. So if I move it a little bit, part C. Now we already know volume is equal to pi times 1 minus 1 over B. So, limit V, B tending to infinity is equal to limit B tending to infinity pi times 1 minus 1 over B. Now, as B tends to infinity, the second term is 0. So, this is equal to just pi. So the question was, show that volume approaches a finite limit as B tends to infinity, which we proved. Now let's do part D. Part D, show that S, S tends to infinity as B tends to infinity. Okay. Remember the expression for S. So we will do part D. So part D. Okay, square root of x4 plus 1 by x cubed is greater than square root of x4 by x cubed is uh, greater than x square by x cubed and the whole thing is greater than 1 over x which will be greater than 0 in the interval between x is between 1 and b. Okay. So, our question is as b tends to infinity. So, this will be square bracket. Okay. So, we are going to do the, consider the integration. Okay. So, I'll create some more space. Uh, Notice in the expression for S, there is an integration part, which is from limit the limits are from 1 to B square root of 
x4 plus 1 divided by x cubed dx, okay, is equal to, is greater than actually, that is greater than limits of integration for 1 to b is greater than 1 over x dx, which itself is greater than ln x limits are from 1 to b. Okay. And that is greater than ln b. Now, as we also know limit b tends to infinity ln b is greater than infinity is basically tends to infinity rather okay so our integration uh, square root of x4 by plus 1 divided by x3 is greater than ln b and as b tends to infinity, ln b tends to infinity. And thus, okay, if I create some space, thus, limit b tends to infinity and our surface is 2 pi over limits from 1 to b square root of x4 plus 1 plus 1 by x cubed dx because this entire chroma quantity is greater than ln b and ln b approaches infinity. So this is also infinity as b tends to infinity. Okay. So that is the answer for part d. And the answer for part c was pi. So volume tends to a finite amount, whereas the surface as b tends to infinity approaches infinity as b tends to infinity so i will stop here today if you have any question or comment write me a note i'll get back to you as soon as possible if you like this video please give me a thumbs up i appreciate that please share this video with your friends if you like it you and your friends please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner I'll come back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you next time. Take care.